I fucking hate you. I hate your mother and father because they made you. I hate the universe because it created you. What's good, y'all? It's your boy Michael J, and I'm finally, finally back with another video. And today we're gonna be discussing the top five most overhated rappers. Now I could have chosen like ten rappers, but I decided to go with five because I feel like the five rappers that I'll be mentioning on the list, I feel like get the most undeserved hate. So without uh, further ado, let's get started. Wale has to be one of the most underrated and most underappreciated rappers of the new school because I remember fucking with his music heavy back in the days because I thought he made some pretty dope mixtapes. Although Wale did kind of seem like a huge sensitive hothead who couldn't deal with criticism because the way he would immediately snap at anybody if they said something that he didn't like. And because of that, it really rubbed a lot of people the wrong way because simply everybody knows that we don't support somebody who's very whiny. But over time, I really admired how Wale has not only humbled himself, but the way he's always been honest about being a flawed person who's dealt with addiction and depression. So for that huge respect to Wale for his self-awareness. As a guy who's always been a fan of Logic's music, there's no doubt in my mind that his music took a huge decline in 2019, especially when it came to dropping shitty projects like Supermarket and Confessions of a Dangerous Mind, because I gotta say, both of those projects were undeniably terrible. Another reason why Logic receives a lot of hate is because of the way how people have been labeling him corny because of the fact he keeps reminding people that he's biracial. Now, I will say this. Yes, it got annoying as hell the way he kept reminding people like, hey, I'm Logic, I'm biracial. I came from a white mother and a black father. Yippee! He, like, yeah, that, that was really irritating as hell. But even with all that nonsense, I don't feel like that really makes him a bad artist, just an artist who just did and said a lot of things that you could say is corny. But on the bright side, Logic recently dropped his new album, No Pressure, which I feel like is one of his better albums in years since like probably the incredible story see i knew that logic could redeem himself all he just needed to do was just wake the fuck up and get his head back in the game and that's what he did with this new album there has been a lot of speculation about logic retiring i don't know if it's true or not but if he is then i say the best of luck to him his wife and his newborn son Now, Hobson has been hip-hop's punching bag over the past several years due to the fact that people have been labeling him as a corny rapper who's too preachy in his music. I don't really see a lot of corniness in him, although there's no denying that he's had a lot of moments that are very cringeworthy, and yeah, I do agree that he can be a little too preachy, but even with all that, I don't think that makes him a bad artist at all. One of the main reasons why I always fucked with Hobson is not only the way he's always distanced himself from other rappers, but also the way he talks about real shit in his music by being extremely vocal for the way he perceives the things in society. Now, I covered a whole video on why Lil' Kim deserves respect about a year ago. If y'all haven't seen it, I highly recommend that you guys go check it out. Not only is Lil' Kim a hip-hop legend, she's arguably the most influential female rapper of all time and a fashion icon as well. It's just so revolting on how people have not only been discrediting Lil' Kim, but the way they've been constantly throwing dirt on her name for over the past decade. Especially when it comes to poking fun at the surgeries done on her face. It's like, okay, we get it. Lil' Kim went way too far with their surgeries. Like, there's no denying that. But people always keep bringing that up to downplay her impact on his Hip hop. And not only that, people have also been trying to rewrite her history by pushing false narratives like, oh, Lil' Kim was never that talented, oh, she never wrote any of her raps, Biggie did all of her shit, when Biggie died, her career died along with it. Like, where the fuck do people get these stupid ass narratives from? Like, see, this is like one of my biggest gripes with these dunderheaded millennials running their mouths on social media like a bunch of smartasses. Like, they always be saying shit that's not true without doing any proper research. Because if you look at everything Lil' Kim accomplished after Biggie's death, then it'll prove that that statement is just complete asinine. Keep in mind, Lil' Kim is one of the most impactful rappers to ever grace hip-hop, especially when it comes to female rap, because she created a lane for like 80% of these modern female rappers, and if it wasn't for her, most of them wouldn't be doing this like overly sexual, raunchy rap, and this is not my opinion, these are facts, y'all just need to do your homework before you run your fucking mouths. Y'all can hate on the Queen Bee all you want, but y'all better put some respect on her fucking name. I really don't understand the hate J. Cole gets. Rather if it's bandwagon hate on the internet or people saying that he's boring, I just don't understand the J. Cole hate at all. Now here's the thing, if niggas don't like Cole, that's cool cause not everybody's gonna like him. But at the same time, I just don't get what's so hateable about him. Along with Kendrick Lamar, I consider J. Cole one of the saving graces of today's generation of hip hop because the way he speaks his truth in his music in such an authentic way. Cause most of y'all should know that I'm always a guy who supports a rapper that's real than a rapper who's fake as fuck. Plus he also seems to have such a great personality because the way he's so down to earth and he just 
doesn't seem like a cocky douchebag at all. I guess we just kind of live in a time where people think it's cool to hate on good things. So what do y'all think? Which rapper do y'all think gets the most undeserved hate? Feel free to comment down below. Be sure to subscribe to my channel for weekly videos. I'm your boy Micah J and peace.